I feel this video is going to be less interesting than usual because I don't have Doctor Who to talk about. I only have Glee. And Glee was a heartbreaking, like, train wreck. So, Glee at the end of this video, and I'll, like, cry at you or something. I, I never pre-planned talking about what I did during the week. Um, I spent some time in Emily's dorm, which is the other honors dorm. She doesn't technically live there, but her boyfriend does. Whatever. Um, sewing for her, because I'm a good friend, and she's being a TARDIS for Halloween. Like, she got a blue dress, and she's, like, putting panels and windows on it and stuff. And it's gonna be amazing. And I sewed for her, because she doesn't sew, really. And everyone should know how, like, amazing I am. It's gonna be pretty cool. And while I was over there, we were talking about what I was gonna do for Halloween. And, you know, my goal has been Esmeralda. But then Emily planted in my head the idea of, well, first she suggested Catwoman. And I was like, well, if I was going to do Batman, obviously I would want to be Harley Quinn. Um, and now that's all I want out of life. <laughs> so I have new costume goals. Instead of Esmeralda, I want to be Harley. And I know how I can do it. Like, if you don't do, like, latex catsuit Harley Quinn, you do, like, grunged up as if they had put her in the Dark Knight Harley Quinn. So, so I drew a thing, and it is my plan. And that reminds me, I need my black boots that are at home in my closet. I need those. Um, I'm going, I'm going to make this, and it's gonna be great. Um, and I just need to get like a tank top and a black vest and some gloves. Emily's gonna give me a pair of black jeans, and I'm going to find a pair of red jeans, and I'm going to cut them and sew them together. And it's just, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so cool. I'm gonna walk around with a hammer slung through my belt loop because she has a giant mallet in the comics. And you have to pay homage where you can. And just everything's going to be beautiful. So that's my new life goal. And I'll be really like brokenhearted if it doesn't work. This week it was my oh, hey. Happy few days after your birthday, father. But I called you, so I was a dutiful child. Um uh, but you know who wasn't dutiful? You know who wasn't thoughtful and kind? Your wife who ditched you on your birthday to go to a gallery thing. And hey, yeah, maybe you sold some photos and were like really awesome and talented and stuff, but you, you, you ditched your husband on his birthday. He sat at home by himself and watched the news on the Hunger Games. And I imagine like cried himself to sleep. How dare you? Really, I'm so funny. I have an advising appointment tomorrow because it's like in a week or a couple weeks or something, registration for next semester classes opens and once you hit your major courses you have to be like approved by your department or whatever you can just put yourself in them so i have to go in and have them go through all my stuff and be like yeah okay you can take these um and also i'm probably going to be like by the way i want to add a second major and i've kind of gone back to journalism i've i've let the political science dream go because if I did that, I'd have to take another math class because there's a lot of statistics and that's not worth it to me. <laughs> I will self-educate on the internet. So I think I'm gonna add journalism. And then in the event that the publishing industry does die because of amazon.com, which is a monstrosity, I can fall back on being like a world famous journalist who blows minds with her stories that just like break all the boundaries and make you realize things you never even like knew were true. All like expose politicians and cruelties in the world. I don't know. Journalism. <laughs> That's enough of real life. Nobody wants to know that is interesting anyway. Um, let's just talk about Glee. So I cried pretty much from like maybe 10 to 15 minutes in to the end. It was not, like, good. It wasn't nice what they did to us. Um, but, like, in reflection out of the episode, a lot of us, including me, are really angry that they couldn't... Like, what they had building up to it with, like, the difficulties of a long-term... Of a long-distance relationship and Blaine feeling ignored and Kurt not, like, realizing there was a problem and, like, lack of communication could have been, like, a really, like, real, genuine, well-done relationship conflict. But apparently the writers of Glee don't know how to do relationship conflict without somebody cheating. And so all of a sudden there's some guy named Eli who exists somewhere in the world. And Blaine, we don't even know what Blaine did. Because that wasn't included. And we already know that Blaine thinks of like receiving flirty text messages as cheating. Kurt wasn't even flirting. 
he was just being hit on via text message and not like discouraging it. So like, I just have this, my favorite post on Tumblr in reaction was that Blaine probably like went over to Eli's house and like leaned on his shoulder or something. And now he's in like an emotional spiral because they didn't tell us. And Blaine was like very vague. And so, I don't know, I'm just angry that it turned into a cheating thing because it was so unnecessary to the plot line that they were building up to originally that would have been really good. But it still broke my heart because Kurt cried, and when Kurt cries, I cry. I couldn't care less about Finchel if I tried, and why did they break up a second time? They were already broken up, I don't understand. Um, and Britanna also broke my heart, though I was thrilled to see Santana because I missed her because she is perfect. I don't know if I have anything else to say, but I have unfortunately for her. Breaking hearts. Now we're on break for a month because of baseball, which nobody cares about anyway. I've never really understood why that's like the American pastime, because I've never in my life had people like sit down around me and start to discuss baseball. But it's eating up Fox's screen time, and so we don't get Glee for like a month, for like four weeks. And Doctor Who's already on break until Christmas, so I'm gonna have to like find something new to do with my fandom life. And I'm thinking I'm gonna start watching Supernatural. Which Victoria is equal parts excited and disappointed for, because it's apparently going to break my heart and soul. And Victoria doesn't want me to do that to myself, but at the same time, she's hugely into it. So I'm sure she would be very excited to share that fandom with me. But that's probably what's going to happen now. So I still like have homework to do because I'm not super productive, and that's like after I edit like a six minute video, which is totally fine. So uh, that was my week and my life. Um, bye.